Hi you guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. Today I am starting another weekly vlog. This one I want to be a little bit themed. I've really been on my wellness kick lately. I'm trying to get in a better habit of taking good care of myself and honestly filming is such a good way to keep me accountable. Self-care and health really is such a habitual thing and we can sink into bad habits, bad relationships with food, with exercise, with our mental health, and I just wanna be on a good track. Nothing particularly bad has happened recently. I don't think I've been horrible at this, but I'm feeling really motivated with the warmer weather. I feel like I've really been enjoying any of my workouts recently. And it's just something I've been genuinely wanting to spend more time on. And self-care, whether it's exercise or food, different types of therapy, whether it's like physical therapy, massage, acupuncture, I just have been wanting to explore a little bit more. So I'm definitely gonna be having a pretty normal week in the city, but I definitely want that to be more of a focus and hopefully not in any sort of triggering way because I never want that. But if talking about food or exercise triggers you in any way, maybe this isn't the video for you. I started this morning in the park with my dog, like always, it's such a beautiful day outside. And then I came back, got a little bit of work done just for like an hour. And then I had to take him to the vet to get his annual vaccines. And he was a little upset with me. When I just got home, I made a golden latte for the first time. We never actually had an iced one of these until recently i've had the warm ones they were kind of whatever i would definitely crave them sometimes but the iced version is so good mine's not quite as good as the ones i've gotten out i'm gonna link the recipe that i roughly followed below for you guys i'd say it's kind of comparable to a chai latte but you can definitely taste the turmeric in it yeah this morning i just have some work to do at home i definitely want to try to fit a workout in i also want to show you guys a pr package that i recently got in the mail that's so nostalgic for me and I just got really excited about because I know that my teenage self would be so excited that I was getting PR from this brand. I'm wearing some pieces now as a hint. And I think it could be quite nostalgic for you guys too. And then tonight I'm getting dinner with some friends. I'm seeing our friend Lexi for the last time. She moves to LA tomorrow. I've had so many social activities this weekend. One of my other close friends from college she doesn't live in the States anymore, but she was in town visiting. Definitely been going out more than normal, but it's been really fun. Another couple fun things that I did this weekend, I had a very art-filled evening one night with my boyfriend and some friends. We went and got a private tour of the Whitney Biennial. I have a friend that works in marketing at the Whitney. And there was a little event, kind of party there. And then we went to Gym in the Lower East Side. It's a really fancy restaurant. I'm not sure I've ever been to a restaurant where there's so many courses and it's like a full tasting menu and that's kind of your option. It's honestly really expensive, of course. We went with some of my boyfriend's work friends. I've never eaten anything like the food that we ate. Super cute inside. The chef is a really young guy. I'm pretty sure he's younger than me. He was like known as like a child star chef. It was definitely interesting, but I thought it was worth I mentioned to you guys in case you're interested in going there. It's Monday and I have a lot of emails to do, so I better get on it. Now we're gonna make some lunch. Thanks so much to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't already know, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit with options for every lifestyle. These include keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten free. Green Chef is also the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of the plastic in every box and 100% of their carbon footprint and their carbon emissions. Green Chef offers 24 weekly meal choices per week, so you can find new favorites while sticking to your preferred eating plan. Cooking is made easy with step-by-step -step instructions and pre-portioned ingredients. I love Green Chef because it saves me time and eliminates decision fatigue. It stops me from overindulging in takeout or delivery food and helps me make nutritious choices. So as you saw here, I just made their Italian pork sausage puttanesca. It was so delicious. I will definitely be remaking this at some point. If you guys are interested to check out Green Chef, you can use my code Kaylee130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. And I'll also have that info in the description box below. And thanks again to Green Chef for working with me on this video. Heading out for dinner, here is my look. I'm wearing this helmet length dress with a black leather trench, my Andamilamister boots, this YTN number seven bag.
Okay, so I mentioned earlier that I have a very nostalgic package of gifting items that I recently received that I wanted to share with you guys. So I recently was reached out to by Los Angeles Apparel, which if you know is formerly American Apparel. I was obsessed with American Apparel as a teenager. I think it made up the majority of my wardrobe. They have rebranded as Los Angeles Apparel, which is really cool, and they've brought back so many of the old styles. And transparently, this portion of the video isn't sponsored by them, but I do have affiliate links in the description box for you guys. I really think Los Angeles Apparel is so cool because they make all of their items locally in the US and South Central Los Angeles. I personally own a brand that does all of our production in Los Angeles as well, so I find it super respectable. You can learn a lot more about about what they're doing in terms of sustainability and ethical wages, bringing jobs to the US on their website. But just a few quick notes, their factory workers make between 20 to $35 an hour, which is definitely higher than the average that factory workers make. They don't do subcontracting or offshoring. They are a vertically integrated company. They have a huge focus on quality and they also aim to support US domestic farms and the yarn industry. So now to show you the pieces that I picked out, I think it's so cool that so many of these are still still relevant to me today. I totally would have worn them as a teenager and I'd also wear them today as a 25 year old and I'm sure I'll wear them for years to come as well. So I'm gonna have all of these linked below in the description box but I'll tell you guys the names and prices as well. So one piece I'm actually wearing right now is their garment dye spaghetti thong bodysuit in silver mist. I got this in a size medium and it's $36. I'm not wearing a bra with it, but I do feel like it's quite supportive. I wouldn't normally do that with any bodysuits like this. It definitely is very high cut on the hips, which you can tell in the photos, but if that's not for you, maybe this bodysuit's not for you. And then you guys saw me wearing their bike tard earlier in black. I always love these kinds of pieces, but from other brands when I've tried them out, I feel like they haven't been that flattering on me, but this one is super comfy and flattering. It doesn't have too much compression, but you still feel really secure. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time. I kinda wanna get another one. And I got that in a size medium in black, obviously, and it's $40 retail. And then you guys saw me wearing it with one of their zipped cropped hoodies. This is a pigment dyed hoodie. I love all of the different pigment dye options that they offer. It's very Rick Owens. S color. I think that looks really nice on top of the bike tart. That's how I was wearing it earlier. I got this in a size small medium. It's in the color patchouli. It's $62 retail and this is their 14 ounce heavy fleece. Next, I got this mini dress in brown. It's a spaghetti strap. I wore this the other day with one of my like canvas over dyed jackets from Rick Owens and some tall combat boots and it looked so good. I also got this in the size medium. It's their heavy rib spaghetti mini dress in chocolate and retail on this is $42. And the last piece I got is some sweatpants that I have been <laughs> seriously living in. I often don't find joggers to be very flattering on my body type either. Like I don't really feel comfortable wearing sweatpants out. I just think I don't look cute. They look really cute on some girls. I don't feel that cute and confident in them until I tried on these. And this is their Flex Fleece High Waisted Sweatpant. I got these in a size medium in the color Asphalt and the retail on these is $64 and they have them in a bunch of colors. They have the adjustable string waist and they are so, so comfy. So I'll have all those pieces linked down below for you guys if you wanna check them out, but yeah, this just felt very nostalgic for me. They definitely have all of like the jean shorts. I think they even have like the disco pants. I loved in those as a teenager. Unfortunately, they don't fit me anymore, so I sold those off. But yeah, I guess I didn't catch up with you guys at all yesterday. I went to my friend Lexi as I was selling yours going away party. I didn't get any clips because I was crying. I'm so happy for her. I think the move will be really good for her, but it's definitely just a sad moment. I think combined with spending time this weekend with one of my other older close friends that moved away a couple years ago, it's just like very real being like, okay, this is what our friendship's gonna be like now. Maybe not so much with Lexi because it's LA where she's going. I do go there a decent amount for I do production, also my boyfriend's family is from there. But I guess that's kind of just adulthood, like all your friends kind of end up in different places. I'm definitely not always the best long distance friend and that's something 
that I need to work on. But I feel like with so many of my good long distance friends, it's totally fine if we don't talk for months and every time we see each other, even if, for example, it's been like a whole pandemic, it's really just like old times and that's so nice. We can both have like changed a lot or be very different people in different times in our lives, but our friendship is still there. And I love that so much. I honestly have a lot of admin work to do today, so I am gonna get to that. But I will catch up with you guys a bit later. Good morning, guys. I am heading out to go try out a new place to get a facial. This morning, I slept in a little bit too long. I've been hearing a lot about this spa, it's called The Well, and they also do workout classes and they have saunas and steam rooms that you can use with any treatment or class. And I wanted to get there in time to check all of the amenities and facilities out. Don't know if I'll actually get there in time, I'm so not a morning person. I'm sure I'm gonna film a bit in there, but I've gotta head out. I just got home from my facial. It was such a lovely experience. I paid for this treatment, by the way, just to clarify. I went to the well and I saw Christina. She's like their lead lady there. So sweet and she taught me so much that I feel like I've never learned before at any facial appointment. I feel like a lot of times when I get facials, I just feel a little put down during the experience. Like I feel like I'm always being scolded about my skin, which is fine. But she was so, so sweet. She gave me some additional skincare recommendations. So at the well, they do the biology facials. I've been using mostly their skincare products for a while now. Anytime I get a facial, it's always recommended to me. And I feel like this is what anyone with really incredible skin uses. And I never knew about it until I started getting facials, which I don't even do that often. But I got their Mask Vivant, which is supposed to also be a really good spot treatment. And then I got their cream VIP 02. I was using the brand's Cream Hydra Beat. These are really expensive. I feel like you can just use like CeraVe or Cetaphil moisturizing cream. I feel like the P50 is the product you need if you need one. I've heard this is the same, but I've never actually tried it. My skin is so glowing. She did so many extractions and I feel like I am not even that messed up from them. But yes, it was such a lovely experience. They have the sauna, the steam room, they even have like Dyson hair dryers. I know you can take like a Pilates or yoga class there and use all of their amenities. But yeah, I just wanted to share that rack with you guys in case you live in New York or you're gonna be visiting New York. I think it's a really fun thing to do. But now I need to get started on my work day. <laughs> Hi guys, I haven't really talked to you. I feel like since I got back from my facial this morning, I filmed a bit of me doing a Pilates class. I'm looking for recommendations. Sorry, by the way, if you can hear Leslo jumping his stick beneath me. I'm always looking for good recommendations on at-home workout classes that you guys like. So if you have any good ones, leave them in the comments below or shoot me a DM and I would so appreciate it. But we just got home from a little double date night sushi with some of our friends i'm so full and now we're back home to this guy which is the best thing ever to come home to i honestly cannot recommend getting a dog enough i wanted to wrap this video up because i think it's getting quite long i have a lot of other vlogs coming for you guys so you'll be seeing a lot of me in the next couple months but i hope you guys enjoyed this one thanks so much again to green chef for sponsoring this video and i will see you guys next time bye